Hey guys, Brian here with you once again with Raxus. I wanted to take some time today real quickly and just talk about some password stuff. We see password issues all the time. And I mentioned in a previous video that, that most, the vast majority of our attacks in some point along the way, a bad password becomes involved and leads to privilege escalation or a full breach uh, or, or other problems, right? So passwords have been around for a long time and there are standards for passwords and recommendations for passwords. We recommend 12 characters. Other places recommend longer than that. It depends on the sensitivity, but there's some practices that are good to have in place just for password management in general. And we'll go through some of those right now. The first is unique passwords, right? You want passwords to be unique from system to system to system. One of the best ways to take over an environment is when the administrator password on one machine is the same as the administrator password on every other machine. That's a good day for us, let me tell you. Because once we know that password, we own the whole place, right? So password reuse is a real problem. Um, another thing are weak passwords, passwords that are easy to guess. Let me, let me, if you could look over here, you'd see a password cracking machine. That's all it does, it sits there and just chooses passwords. That password machine can guess upwards of 7 million guesses per second. You think password123 is going to stand up to that? Not likely. So complex passwords are better still passphrases, right? Passphrases are, that incorporate um, numbers, you know, letters, uppercase, lowercase, and character sets such as special characters or even spaces uh, will, will really increase the entropy of your password and make it hard to guess. So uh, when you have passwords like that, they're resilient to what we call brute force attacks, right? We try to guess all the names that are possible, or all the words that are possible, rather. So the way to do that is you have something like a password manager, like a, well, I'm not going to name brands, but there are password managers out there, right? And those can help you by managing uh, all these unique passwords, and you have like a master password. So you have the software, you log into it with your extremely long, extremely complex password, and then it has a listing of all your, and that helps you that helps you keep passwords unique, so that if one password is compromised, so what? Let's say that your bank has a breach, and that password is unique to that bank. Pfft, big deal, change it, right? Big deal. But if that password for your bank is the same as your as for your the IRS, as for your company, as uh, any other kind of services that you might have, your investment firm, uh, any other stuff, your cable company. Then you got a problem because you don't know where that password is on Betcha. You don't know every single site you've ever logged on to with it. So password uniqueness and password reuse are two things that are really important to watch out for. The other thing is um, password aging, right? So many, many companies now will, will implement password or a, ro a rolling password window, right? So like every 40 days or 50 days or 90 days, whatever, you get the prompt, reset your password. Okay, password one, two, three, let's make it password one, two, three, four. Okay, that's a different argument, but uh, it makes you change it every so often. And that does a, a big thing, uh, there's a big benefit to that. Frequently, companies get breached. It just happens, companies get breached. And when that happens, their password databases and passwords and usernames and all that stuff usually end up on the dark web somewhere, right? And hackers buy that stuff. They purchase it and then they go after accounts and they shoot them all over the internet and try to find stuff or they sell them again or whatever. If your password has been changed since the time of that dump, who cares? It's that, that data is stale. So you want to make sure that you have a rolling reset schedule on passwords so that if, if one of your password... Uh, assets, one, one of these services, whatever you log into, if that's breached, then the data has no value as far as you're concerned, right? So password aging is another critical thing too. And let me let me throw in a little thing there also uh, with password resets and aging and, and, and that kind of thing. Service accounts. We see it all the time that service accounts, such as things that run, you know, patching or management or provisioning or whatever, service accounts very rarely have are set up to change their password. So the service account that was created five years ago still has the same password today in many, many, many environments. And you say, great, well, that password's huge. It's 30 characters long. Guess what? There are places on those machines where that password lives. LSA Secrets is one place we look for that stuff. When you first create an account and put the password, Windows happily stores it in the registry for some 
I don't know why they would do that, but they do. And uh, it helps us find those things. So service accounts, even though they have strong passwords, and they should have strong passwords, should also be managed on a rolling reset schedule like your other passwords as well. Uh, I would also recommend you guys do password audits, right? We can help you with that, where uh, you go inside and you use the tools we use, and you go after your own domain structure, right? You, you dump the Active Directory database, the NTDS file, and you dump it, and then you run attacks against it the same way we would. And that will help you, if you do it proactively, that will help you um, identify password trends, right? So I'll give you an example. One of our companies, our customers, do, does that regularly. And they recently were bought by another company. And suddenly, they saw all these passwords start changing to the root word, right? The root word of the password, company123, that was, that was across the board changing. So they were able to detect that because they did password audits and say and, and put it put a stop to it, right? So they're able to intervene. Um, that's always good. I think that covers the password stuff I want to talk about. So, in light of that, guys, block and tackle stuff. Passwords are extremely critical. It's the number one thing we see. Please, please, please uh, get your password straightened out. And I hope you guys have a great day. Take care.